I'm gonna learn how to do a blanket stitch and make this cute puffed heart. So I have two layers of felt cut out in the same shape and then I've lined them up and I have three strands of floss on my needle and a knot at the end. Now for the heart, I'm gonna start over on the straight side here and I'm gonna go through the back side, hiding my knot in the middle. So I'll just push the tail down in so we don't see it. There we go. And now I'm gonna go through the front side about where I went through on the back side so that I come out very close to where that thread is. And I'll pull this through all the way to the top. Now to make a blanket stitch, we need to have this thread connected to the loop. So I'm just gonna thread right here under the top so that as I make my next stitch, the thread will stay along the outside. So now I'm going to go down through both layers of fabric and I'm going, this height here is the distance away I want to go. So if you imagine a nice little square here, we're trying to go the same distance over as we are down or up from the side. So through both layers and then I'm going up through my floss loop here. And you just pull that snug to the top and then we'll do the next stitch. So again, down through both layers, up through the loop, and we just continue going around the heart. Now, since I'm stuffing this heart, not just stitching the two sides together, we're gonna stop over here and add some stuffing before we get to the end because it can be hard to get the stuffing or the polyfill all the way in to the top of the heart um, from a teeny tiny hole. So it's easier to add stuffing as we go. So I'm gonna stitch around a little bit more and then we'll meet up at this other side over here. All right, that's pretty good. So first, before we stuff, let's talk about here at the point, at the point, the meeting of the two sides. So you can see that bottom of the stitches is evenly spaced, but all the tops are close together. Now the reverse of that happens at the bottom of the heart, where the bottom of the stitches are gonna be close together and the tops are gonna be far apart. So just think about a straight line moving around the edge and what would happen to it. Helps me remember where my stitches need to go. So we're gonna open this up kind of puff up the sides here and put in our polyfill. Now, generally speaking, nice little bunches of polyfill are easier to work with than a big chunk. So just fill those sides up and I'm going to fill the middle just a little bit but I don't want to fill all the way down here because I've not stitched that part together. So I'm going to get all those ends in and then make sure I can't see it here where I'm going to be stitching. Line up my sides again and we will continue with the blanket stitch around. Okay, you can see that I'm about to run out of thread, so I can't finish stitching. So I'm going to tie off this end before I add some more polyfill. 
So we've made this nice and snug and then here at the end, I'm going to go under the back side and the top loop. And then I'm just going to make a simple knot by going through the loop I made here and pulling the whole thing tight right there on top. And then if I'm feeling like I need an extra secure knot, I'll make a loop one more time. Pull this through. And then you can either just bury your thread by going down into the polyfill, or if you don't have fill in yet, you can also run your needle in between the stitching here and just check and make sure you can't see the needle anywhere along the middle and pull that till the knot hides itself a little bit. And then I will trim this here. And it hides. So now we're gonna finish filling with our polyfill in here. And I like to test and see how it feels all even in here. And if that feels good to me, then I'll just kind of shove this out of the way a little bit so I can stitch again and then I'll squish it all back into place after I'm finished. Okay, thread on needle. Now, I'm gonna catch a little bit of the side piece of felt because felt is nice and thick, so I have somewhere to stitch through. And I'm gonna come up on the left-hand side of my last stitch so that as I go to make my next stitch, the thread is in the right spot. And again, I'll just tuck this end in here so that I can't see it and line up the edges and then we'll stitch here to there and then finish. All right, just made my last stitch. But we wanna make the edge look like it's finished as well. So instead of tying a knot here on this stitch, like I did when I changed thread, we're gonna tie a knot on our starting stitch. So I'm gonna loop through the top, sorry, the loop that's going over and the loop that's going this direction. I'm gonna catch them both and then pull this nice and snug and you can see how it's made a nice line and pulled that loop back up. So then I'm just gonna slide back under the first side and through this loop so we can make a knot, pull that nice and tight. And again, I like to do it twice. One is probably sufficient, honestly, but redundancy makes me feel good. And we'll pull that tight. And then I'm just going to slide my needle right into the heart, poke it out, pull until the knot kind of pulls itself in. Then I straighten this side back out and we'll clip the thread off and you have cute heart for Valentine's.